PeteTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete here again from Pete's Tools. How are we all going today? Hey, I've had a bit of inquiry from you fellas, new to welding. You want to know if I was to start welding all over again, what would I choose to start off with and what would be the cheapest welder to get into? Would it be a stick welder or would it be a gasless MIG? And if you watched any of my videos, guys, you know by now that it, sometimes it looks like I only just started learning welding yesterday because I'm pretty crap at it, but all I do on this channel is stick shit together the cheapest way possible. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below and we can have a bit of a yarn. And let's get into it, eh? Yeah! Like I say, guys, I'm no bloody welding expert. All I really basically want to do is stick shit together in my workshop and then hopefully it doesn't fall to bits. And that's about as far as I go. But what a lot of you guys want to know is what's the cheapest way to get into it in the home workshop? So what I'll do, guys, is we'll just give you a demo of some MIG welding with gasless wire and then I'll give you a demo of some arc welding or stick welding or whatever you want to call it. And the price differences to get into these two forms of welding are quite different, guys. One's cheaper than the other, and you know me, if you've watched any of my videos, Pete's really into cheap. <laughs> so first of all, guys, if you're going to do some gasless MIG welding, you're going to have a wire that looks something like this. This is just a gasless MIG wire, and it's got like a flux in the middle of it. Hence, it's called gasless, so you don't need gas to run it, because it's basically got the flux in the middle of it here, and it's self-shielding, basically. But if you want to learn the old stick welding, then you're going to have, have electrodes like this. You buy them by the box, like this. It's much the same as this, because it's a, a wire rod going down the centre, plus the outside here is flux, so when it burns down, it basically shields itself as well. So basically, these two types of welding are basically the same, but totally different. <laughs> so basically, guys, if you want to do some flux core welding with this flux core wire like I showed you there before, you're going to need a machine that looks something like this. And you're not going to need something that big, but this is a gas and a gasless machine. So I'll just show you on my machine, it just makes it easier. Some of these machines you can get uh, just gasless only, and some you can run gas on. Because I was doing a really, really lot of welding, I chose the option that I could use gas or gasless. Now a smaller version of this machine is still a lot more expensive than this. See this old welder here guys, it actually got given to me and it works perfectly fine. So I'm using a really old welder basically and a new inverter welder. You can get these as an inverter, but I actually prefer the old one. You can buy these second hand for 20 or 30 dollars if you just want to get into welding, that's why I'm showing it to you. Just so that you know that you don't have to spend a hell of a lot of money to get into welding. And this would probably be the cheapest option for you to start welding and I'll show you how this goes in a minute. And we'll also do some welding with the gasless MIG. Now with the gasless MIG, you're going to have to learn how to set up your roller wire like so. You're going to have to learn how to set up the tension in your drive rollers. And that can be a little bit tricky if you're just new to it. Um, it seems quite overwhelming to start off with. But once you get the hang of it, it's basic as falling off a log, you know, or riding a bike. But when you, like I say, when you first start, it can just freak you out a little bit. So that's why stick welding here, see I've got a, a welding rod here, is a lot easier when you first start. Because you don't have to worry about all this crap here. And you also don't have to worry about wire speed and voltage and power settings and all sorts of other crap like that when you first learn. Because the basic stick welding is basically stick welding. You point it, scrape it and weld it. <laughs> That's what I like about it. So anyway guys, let's go and do a bit of gasless MIG welding. And then we'll compare it to the stick welding and you guys can make up your own mind. I also have a lot of other videos on how to set all this up if you're just new to welding. Uh, I'll put the links for them in the description. You can go and check them out if you're interested. So guys, I've got my MIG all dialed in. Well, I think it's dialed in close enough for Pete anyway. So uh, we'll try and stick some shit together and I'll show you how it welds. Like I say guys, once you get the hang of this, it's really easy to dial it in. But until you get the hang of it, it can be quite frustrating. That's why I don't suggest you start off with this. Anyway, let's just weld this and I'll show you what this does. Here we go. Knock the slag off it. What do you think of my beautiful chipping hammer, guys? <laughs> Cleaned up a little bit with a wire brush. Rough enough for a young fella there. That's not going to come off. Sticking shit together, like Pete says. That's what it's all about. 
As you can see, guys, it's not perfect, but we stick shit together with it, and it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> right. So now let's go and do the same thing, but we'll do it with a stick welder. So, guys, here we've got my old stick welder, and now you're going to say, why the hell are you showing us this old piece of crap for, Pete? Because I got given this, it actually works better than my inverter welder. I've got a little inverter, 104, I think it's 150 or 160 amp welder. And this thing has a hell of a lot more grunt. And also these old welders are almost indestructible. And if you're learning to weld, I would suggest you learn to weld on one of these. And another big bonus with these is you can buy them for about 30 or 40 bucks online. Because no one wants them anymore. And they're really good to learn on. And compared to a second hand gasless MIG, I mean this is going to be a third of the price. Uh, it all depends what sort of welding you want to do, of course, but if you're just like me, and you're learning, and you want to stick shit together in your workshop, I suggest you start with one of these. Anyway, let's kick it in the guts and see how she welds. So instead of that huge roll of welding wire that we've got for our gasless MIG guys, all we've got here is a, an electrode, like in the box that I showed you before. Those cheapest chips, about 20 bucks, and I think you can get about 50 electrodes, depending on what size. And then if you open up your torch, or it's not really a torch, if you open up your electrode holder, you can see here it's got grooves in it and you just put that in the groove whichever feels more comfortable for you for the electrode always remember guys that we're dragging these electrodes to get them started so make sure they're tight grip in there that's quite tight and make sure it's comfy for your hand when you when you start to weld kick it in the guts pete see if it goes <laughs> hear the old hum with this guys because all that's in here basically is one transformer and that's it and a couple of switches can't go wrong. <laughs> Ready, right guys, let's get into it. Bit too hot there, guys. See that? I'm burning holes through it. I just haven't quite worked out the adjustment on the old weld yet. So let me turn it down a bit and we'll have another go. I'm used to the adjustments on the old MIG, but not on this really old arc welder. Right, yeah, guys, turned it down a bit. Let's see how we go. That's a bit better, guys. You see, I still burnt one hole in here, but she's only pretty thin. It's only three mil plate. But anyway, you get the general idea, eh? Let's see if I can fill that hole in. Blind man will be pleased to see it. <laughs> As you can see here guys, this is with the gasless MIG here, and this is with this welder here. It would only take me probably 10 minutes to figure out where to put the settings on this, and then I'd be welding as good as that. And the cost of this, like I say, is about a third for a second hand machine. Anyway guys, that was about the first attempt really welding with this thing. So in all honesty, if you're just new to starting out welding, I would suggest that you get an arc welder or a stick welder to start off with. The cost is a lot cheaper. You just scratch start the bloody thing. Once you get the hang of it, you're right, and you can stick shit together. And then once you learn a bit more, you can move on to something better. Anyway, that's my thoughts of what they're worth, and they're not worth two-fifths of FA. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want, and we can have a bit of a yarn. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Pete's Tools.com.